And just like that, our cabinets and countertops and stairs are all installed. Ah, you guys, it's looking like a real home. We're getting there. Yeah, sadly, we still have about one billion and one more things to do though, so. <laughs> one billion and one, exactly. <laughs> I guess, let's get to it. Yeah. Doing things. Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. We're back at the RV. We're, We're back, back in it, it, you guys. Woo! So if you've been keeping up with the channel, you guys know that the RV was not starting. And we had a whole fiasco towing it over to the mechanic. They did some work on it. Turns out that the fuel pump was bad and they had to replace it. Yeah. There she you go. She's sick, but she's all better now and she's running bigger and better. Wait, not bigger. <laughs> Just better than ever. Stronger. Like Bolt. Oh, you got some paint on your face. Do I? Under your Man, nose a little bit. I look like a fool. That's true love right there. <laughs> but while the RV was in the shop, we took that as an opportunity to get away from the shop. We went up to Wisconsin, had tons of fun up there. If you didn't catch those videos, we'll link to them in the description below. Yeah, I feel like we put on 10 pounds up there. Yeah, we ate God. and drank everything and it was awesome. We've actually been back for a little while now and we've been working on all kinds of projects and we've actually gotten a ton of stuff done. Still a ton more to do, like yeah. Allison mentioned in the beginning of the video. <laughs> a but billion to one. We have gotten a lot of things done you guys. and we're gonna show you guys all the things. All right, let's go inside and take a look around. Do we act like we're walking away? But be cool about it, be cool. The first thing you'll notice when you walk in is that our kitchen is almost done. We finished the counter, you guys. Last time you guys saw this, this was just raw pine. We've cut out the opening for the stove. We actually already went ahead and installed the sink. We've also been working on finalizing all of our drawers and cabinets and things, putting all of our hardware on. We also finished our wallpaper, finally. That we did. <laughs> I know you guys were probably really skeptical about the wallpaper, but this is gonna work, I think. We're thinking maybe down the road we'll do something else here. I don't know if we decide we don't like the wallpaper, but once we put all the trim and all the edges and stuff up, I think it's gonna look pretty sharp. We've also finished our upper cabinets. Check these out. Woo! So these have been stained. They've We put so many coats of polyurethane on these just to protect it since it's pine, which is a super soft wood. We went with the gold hardware on this. We're basically doing gold hardware all throughout. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, we took inspiration. Our old uh, window frames were this gold. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to match going, that. Yeah, going with that vibe. We are actually going to be installing this stove a little bit later. Our fridge cabinet is officially done. That's oh. our fridge! Check this out, you guys. So this is how it works. You pull it out, you open it up. We actually really lucked out with the spacing here because if this was just a little bit in, this wouldn't stay up. But luckily, it's just perfect as designed, so it stays open. So when you're done with that, you put it up, out of sight, out of mind. Now you have all this counter space to work with. We're gonna be making so many meals in here, chopping so many vegetables. Chop, 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 chop. You need to chop it broccoli? Chopping broccoli. She's chopping broccoli. We've also finished our staircase. You guys, we have a staircase in our RV. So I don't know if we ever properly explained the vision for this, but this is just a, like the utility closet. So we have some doors out there that we already painted. Those are gonna go here. So all this stuff is gonna be completely covered up and it's just gonna look like a, a little staircase. And it works, you guys, check this out. Ta-da! So that's the idea is that you just kind of slink up into the bed like that. <laughs> and it doesn't creak or anything or move. They're yeah. so solid. Yeah, surprisingly, suspiciously <laughs> solid, really. It's a tiny space, so it's gonna be awkward no matter what you do, but it's cool that we don't have to worry about a ladder or anything. So you get up from bed, you walk down just like this. Now you're downstairs. Yeah, it's a split level home, perfect for an expanding family. Very spacious, tons of headroom. We also built a door, you guys. This might be one of our favorite projects yet. We did this from scratch, from our brains. <laughs> we we bought some half inch cedar planks and we edge glued them all together. We put these in here to brace it so that you know it doesn't wobble or anything. And then we put this cool frame kind of around it so that it sits perfectly inside here and kind of seals shut. Also, there's a couple of squeaks we're working yeah. out. I think we got a little too perfect with the fit so it kind of touches in here, but we'll sort it. We also built our own door frame, y'all. <laughs> Check this out. Does that look good or what, you guys? Yeah. We weren't really sure what to do with it. The previous door frame just had two little pieces of trim and it was the plywood on there, but we went for it. Now we can close off this ugly bathroom. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Guys, listen how loud this creak is. Yeah, <laughs> something's gonna have to be done about that. <laughs> now, enough talking. 
We're installing this freaking stove. More doing. Because we're doers. <laughs> I've been to Home Depot, Home Depot one too many times. <laughs> All right, range hood installed. Oh man. Hey, you wanna hear something really cool? Yeah, what's that? Well, if anything ever happens to me, Ladder is always gonna be here to take care of you. That's right, Alison, I'll always keep you safe. Not that kind of ladder, you dummy. I'm talking about this type of ladder. My bad. We just wanted to give them a huge thank you for sponsoring today's video. Ladder makes it super fast and easy to apply for life insurance, which is hugely important, especially if you are as accident prone as this guy. Oh, okay, I'm dying. Look what I did, you guys. Oh, no. We're not off to a good start. Oh. I might have actually broke my tailbone on that one. On that note, it makes sense why people get life insurance, especially term coverage, which is surprisingly affordable. With Ladder, a healthy 35-year-old male, like myself, could get $1 million in coverage for just $35 a month. There are no hidden fees, you can cancel anytime, and you get a full refund if you decide to cancel within the first 30 days. So you can head to ladderlife.com slash theendlessadventure to get your free quote. The link is on the screen right now, and it is also in the description below. All right, enough chit chat. This RV isn't gonna rebuild itself. Oh, ladder. He is right though. We gotta get back to work. <laughs> You guys, we're finally installing our friggin' solar panels. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ta-da! That's it, job okay. done. <laughs> so we have the panels in the spot that we want them, here and here. But before I fasten them down, I'm just trying to get the, the wiring right. So we're wiring these in series, which means that the voltage is going to add up. So these are both 12 volt panels. So if we have the wiring correctly, this little voltmeter should give us 24-ish volts. What do we got? 25.8? 25.8, yeah. That sounds about right. Nice. Nice. Solar panels are installed, you guys. Woo! Finally, we have power. <laughs> These two panels are 200 watts each. It remains to be seen if that's gonna be enough power for our needs, but we have room for some other smaller panels if we need to do that. There's a bunch of different ways you can mount solar panels, and we decided to go with these little plastic pieces that kind of sit on all four corners and on the sides here that, and support it, because I just like the idea of it being supported all around it. and. Theoretically, you don't even have to screw into these. You could just use adhesive, but we put some screws in it just because we don't trust it. We don't need our solar panels flying off while we're going down the highway. For those of you wondering why we didn't put them in this wide open space, because we still have grand plans for a deck there. Yeah, we have we have an idea to put a deck there way down the road. Uh, probably will never happen, but we're leaving the space open just in case. For now, we just have dance parties here. It's just a dance floor. What's going on? Why, hello there. Just putting on some final touches. So what happened here was we thought we finished this whole pull-out fridge cabinet, and it was looking great. And then when we pulled it out, we saw that you could see in here and see some of the exposed plywood. And that's no good. Really, I didn't mind, but she wouldn't allow it, so she's making me paint this. You wanted to look at that nasty <laughs> plywood in there? I don't think so, mister. But this is what's been happening a lot, is you think you're done with something, and then you're like, oh, I forgot this, I forgot that. And next thing you know, you find yourself in a slide-out drawer. Yeah, luckily, this thing holds 500 pounds. Can you believe that? Which I'm not even close to that. All right, you guys, the time has come. Well, <laughs> slammed it kind of hard. <laughs> we have finished as many projects as we can finish to get this thing road ready. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get as far as we wanted to, but we have an appointment to take this thing up to Chicago. We've been mm -hmm. hinting at this trip for a long time. We've been chatting with a company up there that's going to actually do um, some major work on the RV. They're gonna rebuild the engine. They're gonna do, clean up a bunch of other stuff. It's gonna basically be a brand new machine afterwards. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be super beefy, you guys. We cannot wait. It is very unfortunate that it had to stop working right before we did this. So we yeah. had to put a little work into it just, just to get it up there, yeah. then to completely redo it, but that's fine. The whole idea with this is that we're gonna bring this thing back to its former glory. Mm -hmm. And mainly, we just want it to be as reliable as humanly possible right. when we're driving it all over the country, so. Because as you guys can see, it's getting kind of cool back there. And yeah. we definitely want to keep it running for as long as possible. You can also see that it's full of junk. Oh my God. And that's because we're actually heading up two hours 
um, to see my dad and he's gonna help us with a project on our way out of town. Then after that, in a few days, we're actually going to head up to Chicago. Yes. So that's the plan. All right, let's fire this baby up. Oh, yeah. oh yes. She purrs like a kid now and she's actually running a lot quieter, which is great. But our next order of business before we head out of town is we actually wanna get this thing weighed and make sure we're under the weight limit for the vehicle. We've actually got a bunch of stuff in it. We've got all of our clothes and stuff that we're traveling with. We've got the lumber back here that you can see. Mm -hmm. um, and we put in all the countertops and all kinds of stuff. So we just wanna make sure that we're under the weight limit. And really this is about the heaviest that this RV should possibly be. So yeah, we have all of our appliances in here. We have all the wood that we're gonna have in here. I think the only thing we're missing is a mattress, which is about 20 pounds. Yeah. So that's and our water, yeah, which is like you fill the 40 gallon pounds. water tank, that's 300 pounds. So wish us luck that we're not over our weight limit. Cause if we are, I don't know what the hell we're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll be out for the summer. Yeah. Eric will just go on trips alone. Yeah. I'll just give up if we're over the weight limit. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are at the scale. I think they're weighing it. Okay, you're getting, you can come first. Thanks. All right. We're all weighed up. Let's go see what the damage is. Oh, <laughs> The verdict is in, you guys. We're screwed! Oh God! <laughs> We're actually way underweight, you guys. So the way these things work is they have a weight for the front axle and the back axle. The front axle is 3,440 pounds. It can be 4,000. Uh, the rear axle is 5,460 5, and it can be up to 7,000. And this is all just on a little sticker over here so you know what your weight limits are. Yeah. So there you go. Total is 8,900. Oh yeah, man. That's, that's good. Fantastic, y'all. We Talk were... about a weight getting lifted. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we got some water in there. <laughs> we made it, you guys, and we really didn't have too many problems. Uh, we did notice that she seems to be running a little hot. You guys know that she was in the shop recently and they were supposed to check all the fluid levels, so I just assumed everything was good, but it was bone dry on coolant, you guys. So we filled it up towards the end of the drive, but uh, hopefully it'll run a little bit cooler now. We'll see. And we can use the AC maybe now? Yeah, because the minute we turn on the AC, it would heat it up, you know? But yeah, so that's the first leg of the journey. So we're just at my dad's place now and we're actually gonna spend the next couple days working on the shower in the back. We may not end up filming too much of that just because we're trying to go very quickly and get as much done as possible, but we'll definitely show you guys a little bit of the progress tomorrow. Hopefully it goes smoothly. It probably won't, but either way, we're getting a shower, you guys. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Why, well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our bathroom, you guys, Woo! specifically our shower. That's our shower. I can't remember if we said, but that was the project that we're working on with my dad. He's built a million bathrooms in his day. So we figured we would draw on his expertise um, and it's come along really well. So what we did is we just kind of framed out the base area where the tub needs to sit. Then we put down a little custom cut bit of concrete board, which is what gives us the support here. So this thing is super strong, you guys. And now what we're trying to do is basically just fur out the wall because we're actually gonna put wood paneling in this shower. I know a lot of you guys are gonna have a lot of opinions about that, but we're putting wood in this dang shower, you guys. We're probably not gonna get to that in this video. Uh, so we'll probably make another video about that later on, but we will tell you guys more about our strategy for that and why it's gonna work. Trust us. So right now we're just working on furring out all this framing that we've built because we need the strips to be flush with the base of the uh, tub here. So then the wood paneling goes all the way down to here. So the water drains right down and into the tub and into our drain that works beautifully. It works beautifully and we're never gonna get water damage ever no, from this. Ever. But isn't this a huge shower for an RV, you guys? This was our dream. We wanted it to feel like a real shower. And we have this little shelf that we built right here that we're gonna put a surface on that you can lay stuff on and all that good stuff. My favorite part is that it's a real bathroom. So we'll have a toilet there, a shower there, and a sink. So there's none of that toilet in the shower business. Yeah, we're not huge fans of that. Sorry, van lifers. I know that's a common thing for y'all. <laughs> so next time you guys see us, we're going to be taking this gal all the way up to Chicago. Yeah. It might take uh, one to three weeks for them to finish the work though. So in the meantime, we're gonna go do some traveling up in the Woo, area. Traveling. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. We gotta get back to work, you guys. Yeah. This bathroom isn't gonna finish itself. <laughs> All right, goodbye, goodbye adventures, I guess. <laughs> we'll see you on the road.